This is how it all began. Ah. Which, of course, ah. leads to nonsense like this. A few months ago, I reunited with my childhood friend, Eddie Brock. What is that? It's our inheritance. Eddie's dad and my dad worked together before they died. We believe the suit may be the final step. Finally, a cure for cancer. People are dying all over the world. All I want to do is try to help them. But because I signed the wrong paper for the wrong person, I can't. They had taken the suit away from Dad, and I was going to take it back. thought, I knew, I could finish what he started. I felt good. Great. More than myself. It didn't last. What's happening to me? Get this off of me! I don't know what the suit had become or what it had done to me. But I have super spider powers, and I couldn't control it, so I don't think anyone could ever hope to. But when Eddie found out what I had done, who I really was, well, he was pretty angry. Our fathers died to create me, and now will to days passed. I don't even know how I'm still alive. If you could call this alive. Oh, Lee! Mess. Your beating than I thought. My brain feels like it wants to climb out of my skull. Ah, okay. Wow, that was odd. Maybe I just need to take a couple days off. Relax. Just not be Spider Man for a few days. Maybe actually do something that doesn't involve, I don't know, people trying to kill me. Next thing I remember is feeling a some kind of. That's our boy. 
Eddie Brock. I don't get it. Where's the suit? The suit! The suit did this! Where is the suit? Read your intel. Boys? Okay? Uh, my head is killing me. It's just pounding so hard. I think it's my spider sense thingy going nuts. You, you might need to get somewhere safe. Brock, sit. You guys with shield? You're in the way! Tango down. Prep for evac. this? What's going on? Nothing that concerns you. My bruised ribs make you different. Um, yeah. Okay then, sure. I'll just stay here and, um, oh. This suit Eddie has, it was made by our fathers. But it used my dad's DNA as a starting palette. So, it's like part you? No. Well, yeah. In a creepy way. Yeah. When I got close to it in the museum, it felt like my brain was going to crawl out of my face. Ew. Uh... Ew, again. Sorry. Do you know what you're doing? Kind of. What is it? I... I have no idea. What are those black things? Yeah, that's the I have no idea part. Edward? Edward, wake up. Edward, wake up. Where? Where am I? Your home, Edward. This is where what you've become was born. I know you. Bolivar Trask, this is my associate, Dr. Adrian Toombs. I did my graduate work with your father's lab. I, I was there when he and Dr. Parker... Let's get down to business, shall we, Edward? The Venom suit is worth billions of dollars in government contracts. We wish to test... This suit, it, it, it's too much for anyone to control. It will kill you if we leave you in there alone. <sighs> I just... When the suit consumes you, we will find someone else to test it. One way or the other, Edward, we will get what we are after. All right. What do I do first? This is a bad gig, man. I don't get it. Oh, it's worth tangling with this thing. <laughs> a couple hundred grand in all the... Nook <laughs> all right, people, on your toes. No, 
I want out. You ready? I'm serious. I don't. Hey, Freak's vulnerable to electricity. This'll be fun. Bring it! Another superhero on the side. I thought you and me had something special. I bet it's Daredevil, isn't it? What does he have? Back off, kid! I did it! I finally got that little yutz! Alright, let's finish this up. Fine! Like hell! I got dibs! Get up. Why can't you keep this electric guy you're supposed to be keeping in prison in prison? And that lady, you silver lady that captured Eddie the other day. Why couldn't she? Peter, you need to call. I need to quit getting almost killed by stupid people is what I need. General Fury? Osborne's gone. Yes, sir. Of course he is. Why else hit this target? What is that? Jamming device. High-tech disposable. Blinds our eye in the sky. That's why we thought the boat had sunk. If Osborne is on the loose again, should we mobilize units around Parker? If we do our jobs, Parker will never even know this happened. something you don't see every day. Almost every day. But not every day. Hey! Where'd you get the cool suit? And by cool, I mean cumbersome and driven. Don't take it too hard. I mean, clearly, as you can see, I'm kind of a costume design snob. Fine, it's a nice suit. Sorry. Jeez. Hey, 
I just wanted to talk before, but I'm starting to think you need a good old fashioned can of <laughs> Very irritating. Really? Oh, I like to think I'm more charming than irritating. Where did he go? Where did he go? No, seriously. Well, that just figures. Hey! I know you get this all the time, but any of you see a big scary robot guy with a backpack? Latverian Embassy? That's just great. I wonder, is there a connection between the suit and Spider-Man? When Spider-Man came on the scene, it seemed that you were more focused on him than the target we told you to test against. W when he was there, Spider-Man, I felt like the suit was under control. I, I felt good. Just being in proximity to Spider-Man? Why would that be? It happened one other time. Parker. Parker? Richard Parker? He's dead. But his son is not. The suit was built with Richard Parker's DNA, and his son is Spider-Man. Wow. And getting close to him is giving Brock more control over the suit. Get Brock to tell you everything. His name is Peter Parker. He lives with his aunt in Queens. He's still in high school. And he'll come to you, of his own free will. No, I don't think we have to worry about that. What the hell are you doing? Steady Brock, but we've still got Peter Parker. Is this for real? Told you. Superhero conspiracies. Dot com. It, it, it says I'm a deformed mutant. You're not. 
And, and some doof calling himself Speedball is the coolest thing since the Ultimates? And this is going to haunt you. Yes, yes it is. Keep reading. Well, some guy named RPB says... That's the one. ...that the Latverians have secretly developed a biotactical legion. Uh-huh. That sounds a whole lot like the guy that smacked me around last night. Well, there you go, then. Jeez. The Latverians have some armored goon busting in the labs and stealing things. Huh. Maybe I should go check it out. Or we could go to the movies. Hold on. I have another call. Rooftop. Now. This is my life! Kid. This is a real intrusion! I need you to back off the Latverian thing. Why? Sorry, kid. 18 and older. What does that mean? It means I need you to back off. Yeah, okay, fine, fine! But this is my life. Don't come here. <laughs> Thanks, kid. General, do you think he'll behave? Knowing Peter Parker the way I do, I'm absolutely sure that he will do the exact opposite of what I just asked him to do. 18 and over? Huh. How does he think he is? Something even worse happens about two seconds. This needs to stop, right? Ah! Uh, I have now officially run out of ways to say ow. And now, this ends! I agree. I want a genetic suppressor collar on Osborne three minutes ago. Get this area sealed off inside of ten seconds or I'll fire the first son of a... You with fury? Hmm, <laughs> good job here. Could you have made a bigger mess? No. And believe me, I tried. Mm, you've got some mouth on you. Wow. You'd think it'd be a teeny bit nicer considering I just did your job for you. I require a sample. Peter Parker? What? Ah, uh, what happened? Oh, my head. Ow! Ah! Uh, who are you? There's enough tranquilizer in your system to take down a really large horse. Don't fight it. I know who you are, Peter Parker. I can get at you and anyone else you know. Mary Jane Watson, May Parker. Leave my family alone. Get in the damn car. Barely 
you hold on? Hang on! I'll help you! Uh, first you try to kill me, now you're helping me? I've been hired to capture you, not to kill the innocent people. Aw, oh, you're crazy with a heart of gold. Okay, can we stop all the... What is wrong with you? You're just gonna stand there? Thinking about it? Are we done, Eddie? Ah, oh, thank goodness. I didn't know how much longer I was going to be able to stay conscious. suit yourself what is this did you wear the suit once only for a few hours hmm. it appears that the suit bonded itself to you it's amazing you've survived any encounter with Eddie Brock at all the microscopic suit particles in you want to join with the suit Brock wears fascinating hmm. let's see if we can help them in case this kills you I want you to know, I think your father was a genius. Ten years ahead of the curve. Status? What's going on? I have absolute, total control. Now then, I have a score to settle. Which way do you figure? Trask's offices. My father! Tell me about my father! Everything you could ever want to know about your parents is right here. I've had it ever since I found out. Again? Down, boy. My contract with Trask expired ten minutes ago. And if you're chasing him, don't worry. He doesn't know how to fly that helicopter. But you? Eh, no hard feelings. Business is business, eh?
was over. Now I can learn everything that Trask knew about what happened ten years ago. Burn it. We'll start new. Peter, I have all these things in my head, things I want to say, things I think is your father you'll need to hear. You're going to find that there are people in this world, people who you are going to look at and say, why is this person like this? I find myself surrounded by people who will do or say anything just for the appearance that they are better than they are. There were three survivors of the crash. They all reported seeing the same thing. One of the witnesses was my mother. She died in the ambulance. Peter, you did good today. Eddie needs to see this. It's about our parents. Eddie's not here. He was gone before we showed up. We'll find him. We always do. Mr. Trask. I have been looking forward to this. Eddie? I can't believe. You know what I can't believe? I can't believe that after all the things you did, all the things you made me do, that after all of that, all you got was three years in a golf course prison. You can't do anything to me in here! The guards- They aren't real. Well, aren't enough. You want to talk about it? Uh, I wouldn't- I wouldn't know where to begin. You can just ramble. I'm okay. I love you. I know. It's just... What? Eddie. I mean, he's out there. And I don't know if I'm scared of him or for him. No. I'm here. <laughs> <laughs>